Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're jumping back into the Honda. We have so much to do. Last episode, if you didn't see it, damn it was good. We got it started. But this episode, we're gonna jump into all the other little bits and pieces that we need. We need brakes, we need a clutch, and wiring and all that, all that good stuff. So, getting into the wiring, start putting everything back together, cleaning some bits up, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Please uh, tune in, grab some, grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and uh, enjoy. Okay, everybody, so hopefully you're enjoying your popcorn and drink. To start this episode, I'm pulling all the wiring out. Uh, as of last episode, we got it to run, made sure everything worked. And now pulling it all out, wrapping it all up, getting it pretty and setting it aside so that we can finish all the other bits and pieces. So enjoy the time lapse. Time lapse, not really, but got everything done. I got all it, I think, terminated where I need to. I'll mark out all the earths so I can make sure I put them down. And now it's time to jump in to all the other stuff. So I'm gonna get the clutch in, I'll get the handbrake in, and finish off the brake stuff. So let's jump into that. Okay guys, we sorted it. I've wrapped everything up. I chucked that little time lapse up, but then I just got stuck in and did it because it's just so much like little bits, like cutting pieces off and sorting it all out. So we're all done. We have it all down here. So we have the dash harness, we have the headlight, and then we have everything else. The engine harness is still in there, and then the body loom is still in there too. So the body loom runs like side to side, up and back, a few other bits and pieces runs all up into that fuse box and then everything else plugs into that. So there is one bit I didn't finish which is into the tail light. So you got one tail light here and a few other little bits and pieces. But there's a few wires I'm not quite sure of. I got these three and then these three. So on here I haven't or sorted out, what is it? I have uh, the boot lock, I, I open and close. And I also have, no, it's just boot lock. Those three are for the boot lock. So the one out of the Accord has five wires, 
two earths, three wires, and then the other one has, is exactly the same. I just have to work out which is which because I don't know. Like I can see which part, on, I can see which part is on the Odyssey and which part is on the Accord, but I want to put it all back together. Like press the unlock unlock button, see which one throws voltage to see which one is the lock, because I can see which one it is on the car, but I don't know exactly which one because they are a little bit different. So that's that. And now we're jumping up into the front, into this brake area. So I haven't really explained much about this big hole, but I rem as you might remember from the last episode, I drilled this hole here to pull that big wire loom, wiring loom that comes up here and along, and then down into the fuse box. Fuse box sitting up here, but it runs down into there. So I did that, everything was all good, and then, then started playing with the brakes and realized that changing the booster, changing the brake pedal, changing the master cylinder, I then ended up with the re remote reservoir that's on the Odyssey not working. The two, like those two pins, this one here and this one, don't, don't match up. So it wasn't gonna work. I could dick around and I think make something that works, but I thought, ah, we'll just get the angle grinder out and the tin snips and cut a big hole. So it's just to make everything fit. So this master cylinder now, sorry, this reservoir now sits down in there. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but a little jiggling around, you get it in there. So I want to clean all this up. I want to get it all ready, I want to get it nice. So I need to panel beat these two gaps closer together and clean up this edge. I want to make it a bit rounded and then fix this. So this is like two pieces, but as I've like bent them out of the way, they've just separated and it's a bit of a pain in the butt. And then as you can see in there, I need to make a little plate to go over that um, rib that goes through there and everything else. So now I'm going to jump into a little bit of panel beating, see if I can get it to sit how I want, and then we pull the welder out and we'll weld it up. Don't stop. Okay guys, sorry it's a little bit windy, hopefully you can uh, hear me properly, but 
got everything done. Well, most of what I think I need done for the moment, other than modifying the wiper motor, but we'll get to that in a second. I just quickly fab these brackets up just to get this in the right place. They're not tight yet. I've got to tighten the one at the back and put a nut on the bottom of here. But I just wanted to show you. I'm going to quickly paint those in a second. But yeah, as you can see, but as you can see at the back, I have cleaned up all that edge that I cut out and welded just before and it's looking really good. I used the finger sander and yeah it uh, ate a few belts but it came out pretty well. So now I'm going to clean these brackets up, give them a quick paint, put them back in and hopefully that'll be good and then we're going to have to modify this bar. So as you can see the master cylinder is just there and the cap runs into this fella. So it's, it's aluminium on both ends with this steel piece in the middle so I'm wondering if I can have this metal piece go up and say like go up and around so that I can like, get in here, put the cap on, get the cap off and out. I'm not sure how it's going to go because like I might have to cut this back like quite a bit here and then use aluminium and if that's the case I'll just yeah cut this back, make a big loop that like gets it out of the way, stays away from the arms in here and then links back up to this piece. But let's clean these up, put them back in, bolt it up, get it all nice and in position, and then I'll start working on that. guys so as you can see I've done a little bit more than what I was just showing you I cut that piece off got it out of the way and then bent this one up I then ended up chopping this back a little bit so hopefully you can hear me it is raining on the roof but it's not too bad for this second right now and it's giving me what I need so this can be moved a little bit so my plan is to tack this I then got the shroud that goes over the top of this area to then like shows me where both the uh, posts come through and I'll put that on make sure it's all lined up and then I can tack this piece but I don't want to put too much heat into it just because like there's bearings and everything else in here and seals and stuff this side I got a little bit more to work with but aluminium it'll just push the heat across the whole piece so I just want to try and tack it in position and I can kind of bend it in a little bit like where it is because it's not going to be too strong just yet but then after I get it out I'll weld it up a bit further and then on the bottom of this, it runs around the back. I'll put a little lip on it, making it a bit of an angle, and then it'll give me some strength there as well. So pull the TIG out, we'll TIG this up, and hopefully this works. sorry a little bit of a change I've run out of argon for my TIG so I can't finish the aluminium welding on the wiper motor so we're gonna jump into the engine bay it needs to be wired up We've got all those wires all wrapped up and ready to go so let's chuck them in okay boys girls everybody else we're looking pretty good so I jumped in here with the finger file and just cleaned everything else up after I welded it I then chucked some etch primer on and then silver it's just it's a close match it's not perfect but it'll do I just, I didn't want to paint it black, but I wanted it covered. I wanted it covered, so it's looking good. I then went around and gave everything good clean because it was just schmutz and dirt and bits everywhere. So gave it a bit of a clean the window, had a bit of oil from a leak that was in the carpet, but that's another story. And then just, yeah, just tidied everything else up and it's looking really good. I then chucked the brake booster hose back on, clamped it up. And now we're going to drop, grab the wires that we pulled out that I have running around that go around into there and pull those through and then we can chuck the brake reservoir in, tighten it up and then put some fluid in. Hopefully everything looking pretty good and then we can continue. I need to chuck the clutch pedal in and do that reservoir as well. So let's get into it. <music>
here we go. We've got the handbrake and where it mounts to. So it mounts on these two posts and in through this threaded hole and it all bolts up into there. So factory it's just the three bolt holes and it works really well. But what I have done is because I want to move the handbrake as far as I can this way to give like all the pedals as much room as I can, I've elongated the handbrake. So it normally bolts, calm down, normally bolts in that top hole up there which is now elongated and then these two down the bottom which has given me maybe 10 mils, maybe a little bit more. So let me see if I can hold this up here. So it normally goes in there something like that and probably about there. So it's quite a little bit, as you can see there's quite a gap in there. So what I've done is cut those holes out and pushed it over like this. Makes getting all the bolts and everything in really tight, but it's giving me so much more room to like get the pedal set nice and all that, all that, man. It's really helped get like the pedals spaced out a little bit nicer, give the clutch pedal, oh my foot enough room that I'm not gonna like hit the handbrake. Even though the handbrake's gonna be up when you're driving, I still don't wanna be anywhere near it. So doing that, it's really helped. So first up, I need to get this clutch all sorted. So I need to weld up this hole and this hole, which was an accident, and this hole, which is also an accident. I, uh, it just it just didn't sit quite right, so I ended up having to drill some more holes. But these two were the first mistake. So I'm gonna weld these two up, clean those up, get the clutch pedal, clutch master in, see where it sits, and then probably cut, cut it so it like matches up with this fella and looks really nice. And then we can start bolting the handbrake in, bolt the clutch in and then start running the lines in the engine bay to the master so the slave cylinder and yeah we're really starting to get there so let's jump into that i'll start get the welder out and we'll weld this up stop Okay, so, little update. I've just been running the lines and getting them all quite set where I want them. It's just a little bit tedious, so I skipped filming it. But I just had to make this piece. I was like, sweet, just drill a nice big hole and then it's D-shaped. So this bracket is gonna hold the flexi hose. It's gonna hold the flexi hose for the clutch line. So I just had to make this up. I'll get this situated and then down on this chassis rail, I'll show you in a second, there's a little bolt hole, so I'm gonna have it like this, come across, then come up, and then put a little hole in there, it'll bolt that in there, and hold that flexi line. So, let me clean this up, give it a lick of paint, and we'll chuck it in. There we go, guys, looking pretty good. I just painted it up, I'm gonna leave it on here, let it dry, 
I'm going to play with a few little bits and pieces. I'm playing with the reservoir at the moment. I don't think I know where I'm going to put that yet because of the wiper motor. And just buttoning up a few bits. So let this dry, we'll chuck it on and we'll see what we can get up to. Here we go, all nice and dry. I'm going to slap it in. Let's go. So uh, I did offset it a little bit because uh, there is an extra like hole down there and I feel like if I need to support it from it rocking around I can put a little I can thread a little hole in here and, and put it through but for now I'll just chuck it in like it is bolt it up and uh, then hopefully we can put we can mark out where we're going to put the reservoir and chuck the brake one in and then hopefully chuck some fluid in the system and uh, hopefully this all works and we've got no leaks Okay guys, so I got the dash bar in, it's looking pretty good. I ended up having to change the brake pedal back over to the Odyssey one. I realized that the Accord one pokes up like way too here, way too here, this is also here, uh, way too high over here, and I couldn't get the dash bar in, so I had to change that up. I will come in here, I'm gonna chop this piece out. I'll show you what, I'm, what it looks like. It's just, I ended up, I remember when I was under here trying to fit the clutch pedal the first time I bent it out of the way because it was like in the way of where I wanted to run the clutch pedal but now I have this in I'm going to get the column back in so it can kind of sit here with the steering wheel and then I can work out if these seats need to go backwards a little bit more because I'm sitting in it now and my, my, my legs are a bit more bent than I remember these seats aren't the right seats these are the Accord seats because I'm using all the safety airbag stuff that's in these so my thought is I might have to shuffle these back to get my, my leg room back, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, you, you press this thing and it goes back. So I'm gonna have to break, uh, get rid of the brake pedal that's on here. It's a big fat automatic one. The clutch pedal, as you can see, you have to like hike your leg way up. So I'm gonna have it cut and then I'll bring it down here move the brake pedal across a little bit and then have it in the spots I need it because I think like if I bring you in so if I bring you in here so yeah accelerator pedal is here this will be out of the way accelerator pedal here you want like I think the brake pedal about here and then the clutch pedal about here so a little bit of work to do I've got my electric oh, air powered hacksaw I'm going to chop this off I'll, I think I'm going to have to chop this up back up here so that I can get it to drop down without it being too crazy, I think. I've got some thick steel I can use to do that. And this is that plate I was talking about. I'll chop this out of the way. I'm also going to make a mount from here to the clutch pedal. I'll probably triangulate it again with up here. Maybe I can use this little bolt hole up onto here to then give it a bit more strength because as you can see, it moves a little bit as you press it, and same with the oh, the brake pedal on the other side, you can see it, it does move as well. So I'll fix that up, and then we're starting to get there. So dash is kind of in, or well, the dash bar anyway, to make sure things work. I've also got the shifter here. I've got to try and work out where I want it. So therefore I need to work out where my brake pedal and clutch and everything is here, so it'll all work. It's kind of comfortable here. I was thinking of having it higher, but then I was also thinking if I do mount it down the bottom, if I do get, say, like another branded shifter, which then has like a nice short throw, and then you can, I can also bring the shifter up a little bit higher. But having the ability to do that and mounting it on the ground might be a better idea. I just want to get the cables right as well. But looking good. So I'm going to pull this out. We're going to cut this piece of junk off. I'll chop the brake pedal down, chop the clutch back and then sit it all back in here and then start making up some brackets. Hey everybody, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to cut this episode now. I have lots of stuff to do and I'm just thinking this episode is getting a little bit long and I don't wanna make it too long. So I'm sorry and I'm really, really sorry that these episodes have been taking a little bit longer. I just get hung up on something. I just, something like, yep, cool. This is gonna happen and this is gonna happen and this and I just get 
caught up on doing one thing that just takes way longer than I thought. I'm really sorry. This next episode, I'm already on it over there. I'm already playing with the pedals. I'm already cutting the brake. I've already cut the brake pedal and starting on the rest, but I just wanted to stop it now. Next episode is going to start soon and hopefully I can get the next one out even quicker. Uh, I'm really sorry about this one taking so long. Please like and subscribe. It really helps. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who has and even all the new subscribers. Hi. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I appreciate everything and continue up the good work, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.